Welcome back, true crime enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a bone-chilling story that has recently sent shockwaves through the city of Austin. The Austin Police Department may have uncovered a disturbing link between a 2018 cold case and the suspected serial killer, Raul Mesa Jr. arrested in May 2023 for the murder of Jesse Fraga and Gloria Lofton. Mesa's dark tale takes an even more sinister turn with a search warrant filed on January 2. 2024, Raul Mesa Jr., 62, admitted to murdering his roommate, Jesse Fraga, 80, and confessed to the killing of Gloria Lofton, 65, in 2019, three years after his release from Travis County Jail, according to Austin Police. Authorities are investigating Mesa's possible connection to eight to ten additional cold cases, with the potential for more as the inquiry progresses. Mesa, currently held in Travis County Jail, expressed readiness to kill again upon his arrest. Interim Assistant City Manager Bruce Mills, who investigated Mesa in a 1982 case involving the murder of eight-year-old Kendra Page, emphasized the lack of justice in that earlier conviction, raising concerns about the extent of Mesa's unrevealed crimes. Mesa's recent voluntary confession to the police, stating his involvement in the murders, prompted law enforcement to swiftly apprehend him. In a shocking twist, Mesa himself reached out to the police, calmly stating, I think you are looking for me, just before his arrest. Since then, he has been sitting in a Texas jail, facing allegations of strangling Lofton in 2019 and the capital murder of former probation officer Jesse Fraga in 2023. Now, law enforcement is seeking access to Mesa's Google data, covering the period from November 1, 2016 through May 29, 2023. The reason? A cold case detective believes there might be a connection to a 2018 case matching Mesa's disturbing modus operandi. Mesa, who claims to have shot two people in San Antonio during 2018 to 2019, adds another layer of complexity to this dark narrative. Join us as we unravel the details behind the search warrant, the ongoing investigation, and the potential ties to additional cold cases. Raul Mesa Jr.'s alleged killing spree, involving as many as 10 other homicides, has left the community in shock, with justice yet to be served. Stay tuned as we delve into the depths of this unsettling true crime story that continues to grip Austin. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments. Let's get started. In a bone-chilling revelation, Austin police may have uncovered a connection between a 2018 cold case and the suspected serial killer Raul Mesa Jr. This shocking discovery adds another layer to the already gruesome tale of Mesa, who was arrested in May 2023 in connection with the murders of Jesse Fraga and Gloria Lofton. As investigators delve into Mesa's past, a potential link to a 2018 cold case has emerged, shedding light on a haunting pattern of violence that spans decades. Background of Raul Mesa Jr. Raul Mesa Jr.'s arrest in May 2023 sent shockwaves through the community, as the suspected serial killer calmly called the police, saying, I think you are looking for me. Accused of strangling Gloria Lofton in 2019 and the capital murder of Jesse Fraga in 2023, Mesa's arrest opened a Pandora's box of potential investigating his claims of shooting two individuals in San Antonio during 2018 to 2019. The search warrant reveals that law enforcement believes Mesa may have committed additional sexual assaults and murders after his supervised release ended in 2016. With as many as 10 other homicides potentially tied to Mesa, investigators are unraveling the chilling details of his alleged killing spree. As Mesa languishes in the Travis County Jail, he faces a slew of charges. A Travis County grand jury indicted him for capital murder and murder in connection with Lofton's death, along with murder and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle in connection with Fraga's death. Mesa's criminal history traces back to 1982, when he sexually assaulted and strangled an eight-year-old girl outside an Austin elementary school. Despite serving time, violating parole, and subsequent releases, Mesa's violent tendencies persisted. The investigation into Mesa's alleged crimes has fueled speculation about his involvement in other cold cases, including the unsolved homicide of college student Nicole Coleman in 2018. Her naked body was Former Austin Police Sergeant Bruce Mills highlighted the profound impact of Mesa's alleged crimes, stating, here's a serial killer that justice was not served. The lingering fear and concern among the victims' families, such as Nicole Coleman's mother Don Coleman, underscore the lasting trauma inflicted by Mesa's reign of terror. As the investigation into Raul Mesa Jr.'s alleged crimes unfolds, the community grapples with the unsettling reality of a suspected serial killer potentially evading justice for decades. The link to a 2018 cold case adds a sinister dimension to Mesa's story, leaving investigators and the community on edge as they seek to uncover the truth behind the dark tale of Raul Mesa Jr. As we conclude this chilling exploration into the depths of the Raul Mesa Jr. saga, 
the haunting reality of a suspected serial killer potentially evading justice for years leaves us with a sense of unease. The Austin Police Department's ongoing investigation, marked by the recent issuance of a search warrant for Mess's Google account, emphasizes the gravity of the situation. Raul Mesa Jr., arrested in May 2023 for the murders of Jesse Fraga and Gloria Lofton, may be linked to an even darker past, with a potential connection to a 2018 cold case. The search for justice extends beyond these cases, as law enforcement believes Mesa's alleged killing spree could include as many as 10 other homicides. Former Austin Police Sergeant Bruce Mills aptly points out, here's a serial killer that justice was not served. As the community grapples with the unsettling revelations, we are reminded of the profound impact these heinous acts have on the victims' families and the city at large. Stay tuned for further updates as the investigation unfolds, and law enforcement seeks to piece together the puzzle of Mesa's alleged crimes. Thank you for joining us on this journey into true crime, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay informed on the latest developments. Until next time, stay vigilant and take care.